1974, Sun Valley stepped into the world of snowmaking, using water, electricity, and cold temperatures to assist Mother Nature in offering world-class ski runs. While it did what it was supposed to do, the system was labor-intensive and used a lot of water and electricity. In the late 80s, a new automated system put them on the map with a cutting-edge, computer-operated, world-class system. Sun Valley was the only resort in North America with such a system, and it was expanded in the early 90s. Fast forward 20 years, and there have naturally been improvements in equipment and technology. The new technology that we were looking at was, you know, pretty exciting. We was looking at uh, guns that could do um, more production than the guns we have now and do it with 90% less energy. Dennis travels to other resorts around the world to benchmark where his operation is and see what new ideas he can bring back. One idea was to change out the snowmaking guns whose valves were starting to wear out. Upon a close comparison, he discovered that the new guns were ultra efficient compared to the older ones. And it really boiled down to Dennis Harper and myself working hand in hand uh, to kind of figure out how the system operates and how to quantify the energy savings and really it's um, Dennis's persistence that he finally was able to educate me through the whole process, how they operate the system. I had one of those aha moments, so I finally realized what he's trying to do and the best way to analyze the system and came up with a estimate for the energy savings for the new snow guns here. This is one of the old snow guns that Sun Valley is replacing. The new ones down the slope can produce almost twice as much snow while using only 10% of the energy. And that's only 47 guns if we could do you know, once we get every one we add, changes the whole dynamic of the system and how productive it'll be in the future. Harper understands it's a significant investment and one they'll likely discuss each year. He's proposed replacing 50 guns per year in the near term and work toward replacing many of the 555 guns on the mountain. To put the new guns into perspective, let's look at some numbers. With the new, more efficient guns, the system can move 1,800 gallons of water per minute. Without them, production drops to 600 gallons per minute. Gun to gun, the energy savings are almost 5,700 kilowatt hours per gun, or nearly 270,000 per year for the first phase of this project. That means about $200 per gun per year in energy savings. Harper had an early opportunity to test the new guns, which were strategically installed along River Run and 42nd Street for the race course. This year they wanted to build the course from the top of the mountain to the bottom. Race camp was to start November 20th. Temperatures kept a hold on snowmaking until November 10th. And the test was a success. They covered the course from top to bottom in four days. In the past, about two weeks. The nice thing about that, that allows them to lay down the base of snow a lot quicker, and that way they can shut the whole system down, and in the end, that's what saves the energy. With Dave Bogie and Lon Van Wyk, I'm Lynette Stanley for E! News.